How's it going guys? And welcome to this little secondary setup I got going on right here. This is using a lot of the stuff from my first setup and I have it set up in a separate area of my room. I decided that I wanted to show you guys some of these really interesting slip cast molds that are a variety of different ages. My fiance's mom actually got these from a uh, lady who was collecting them for about 30 years and this is one of them and if we zoom in right here we can actually see that this one right here was manufactured all the way back in 1977 it looks like by Duncan Enterprises I'm not really sure what that is but you know if they're around still that'd be kinda cool so it says TM19A you can see from the age there's a pitting inside of the actual kind of lettering right here and if we go ahead and uh, oh we have some dirt falling out let's kind of zoom in on that real quick if we move over here we can actually open this up which reveals that this is a mold for a toucan and we're going to be cleaning this out real good today because these have been sitting outside before she got them for quite a large amount of time these are very old and surprisingly they're still able to be actually used so we're going to be cleaning this up and then you know eventually if you guys want to see we'll fill this up with some slip and then in another video i'll show you the outcome but just in this video we're going to do a really nice clean so let's go ahead and get started so for the cleaning i'm just going to be using some bristly kind of paint brushes of different thicknesses and I'm going to be kind of getting out all of this dirt from the cracks and whatnot. So let's go ahead and start doing that. You see there's like this little kind of thing in here. That's kind of, <laughs> you never know if that's like a bug egg or something. I have no idea what that is. Uh, it's just like a little rock little pocket of dirt in there so we knock that out I would have been terrified to get uh, all of this stuff on here on this white thing before I changed it because it would have completely ruined it but this is gonna be my my dirty setup so I'm not too worried about that right now I'd like to have some thicker brushes but the setup tools are the work tools that I wanted to use I wasn't able to find them so we're using a little bit of lighter brushes today so a lot of the uh, kind of work that we're gonna have to do on getting a lot of the harder stuff off is gonna take a little bit longer like all of this discoloration and stuff none of this stuff is going to come off this is very old and it's 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 old so you're, you're not gonna get anything perfect but you are going to be able to get a lot of this dirt out of here and anything that has like oh, I have some stuff right there anything that has like you know harder pieces will show up in the mold actually so you're not going to want that you're going to want to try to clean that out as good as possible so as you can see right there it looks loads better than before there's still probably some work that should be done on it but you know you can only do what you can do right so here's this one, I can do a light kind of general wipe off and then take one of these smaller brushes and try to stipple out the um, kind of extra stuff in here. You can see some of the dust probably on camera that it uh, tends to kind of flake off a little bit. It's probably because it's what it's made out of but um it's amazing that since you know i'm just barely rubbing it you can see these these dusts and particles coming off but these things haven't completely just like disintegrated through sitting for such a long amount of time you can see i'm getting a little bit of that off the beak right there I'm trying to get it to where it's a little bit more clean i'm gonna push that out of there thinking about ordering some other tools off of uh, Amazon rather than uh, completely destroying all these brushes. But, all right, let's go ahead and take this bigger one now and kind of 
go in here and clean that out. See, things don't really matter. These are the things to line up the mold correctly. If you see, I'm going to zoom down a little bit. This is a lot of the stuff that ended up coming out of it. Let's go ahead and go back up and lock the camera down. <clears throat> so a lot of that stuff that was in there ended up coming out. And as you see now, outside of uh, some of the, see this is actually slip that was in there before, and slip is the clay. And you can see there's a little bit stuck on there from the last time it was used. And you see this is why you don't do this, see? So what I just did with that. If you notice, we zoom in right there. I actually make it a scratch mark. And that scratch mark can show up inside of the actual, like, you know, mold once you pour it in there. And this is how it actually works. Let me zoom back in. My camera's being funky. So you put these two pieces together, right? And then through the bottom portion right here, you actually pour the slip down into here. And you set it upside down and you wrap it around with some rubber bands or something. You hold it there. You pour the slip in. And then you pour it out very quickly after a certain amount of time. And then it will adhere to this because this type of material is kind of um, porcelain y kind of material. It absorbs the moisture and helps to cling to the inside. And then uh, after it is kind of gelled or, you know, kind of stiffened, you can peel it out of there and then fire it in a kiln. So yeah, that's a little bit of information here on these kind of interesting molds. I'm going to do a series on these, and there's a lot more of these that are significantly dirtier, like very dirty, caked in mud and dirt and dead bugs, and I, I want to clean them out. I want to see how good we can do this, and then once we get the slip all set up, I want to uh, see what comes out. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more, and I'm really excited to be able to show you guys these things. These things are literally a once-in-a-lifetime see. You will not find probably this same thing on the internet anywhere else because of the age and whatnot. But yeah, huge shout-out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Feel free to check out my Patreon. I've got a multitude of tiers that can help me support the channel, you know, buying the brushes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.